Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be going through all the things I bought at the Elmer train show. This was an excellent train show. I got some pretty cool deals, which I'm excited to show you guys. I'm going to begin with the items which I consider maybe a little bit less exciting, and then I'll work my way up to the more exciting items. They're all pretty cool, though. Uh, so the first thing I got was this. I couldn't help myself. Uh, this is a old Lionel HO piece. First of all, look at the box. It's so cool. Uh, and uh, what this actually is, is it's part of uh, an entire train set Lionel had. Uh, where they, it was like a uh, confederation. It's kind of like the Spirit of 76 from for people from the United States. This is like the Canadian version. Anyway, uh, there was one for every province, including Quebec. So we got the uh, Quebec flag with the fleur-de-lis. Um, I just thought it was really cool. Uh, I do like uh, Lionel's description of it, though. Uh, it says, uh, Other great Lionel features include rugged, long-lasting one-piece axles for trouble-free movement, smooth, free-rolling, sturdy wheels on all locomotives, wheels and couplings adhere to NMRA standards. And this is a car with uh, plastic wheels and horn hook couplers. This was a different era, I guess. Anyway. I just thought this was pretty cool. Uh, moving on, I bought both of these engines right here. I'm selling them for a song, and I think it benefited some charity. Anyway, I bought this one right here. This is a Model Power Air Force locomotive. It's not in very good shape, but it was 10 bucks and it ran. And then the other one, this one was a really good deal in my opinion. This is a Sioux Line locomotive, and uh, this one is by Atlas, which is a pretty good make. It's pretty similar to Atherin Blue Box as far as reliability goes, in my opinion. And uh, again, $10, and this is my uh, first Sioux Line engine, so I was pretty happy to find this. So yeah, those were both uh, pretty good deals, in my opinion. Should I start creating like a, there we go, display. Now, the next thing I got, I don't know really anything about. This is a GSBR or GSB Rail Limited. Sorry, dyslexic. Um, this is a locomotive. It's an SD40-2. Uh, it's part of the Seaboard system. And this thing was selling for 20 bucks, which seemed like a really good deal. So I asked the guy why it was so cheap. Uh, he was very honest with me, and he said that it does run, but apparently uh, this particular brand of locomotive uh, doesn't exist anymore and uh, parts of this were made out of resin and I guess the resin is quite notorious for cracking so unfortunately uh, I guess this one's sort of sensitive so I'm not sure really if if that's a problem that comes from dropping it or if it will just break over time but either way it was 20 bucks and uh, it's sort of a unique engine and I don't have anything from the seaboard system so I'm pretty happy to find this now the last and final thing that I found is something that I'm really excited to show you guys. This is in a Tyco box. Now this was uh, from the vendor which was a hobby house, a hobby store in the kind of Ottawa area. Anyway, uh, I said, do you have anything that doesn't work? You know, something kind of cheap that I can buy. And uh, he said, well, we've got these two things. I said, what are they? He's like, oh, they're uh, a couple steam engines. They don't work. One of them's brass plated. So I was like, hmm. Brass plated. So, he opened it up. Boy, was I surprised to see this. This is, I don't really know anything about it, but it's apparently brass plated. Beautiful old steam locomotive, um, and it doesn't run. So, I don't really know what the situation is, but this was 15 bucks. So, really an offer I just couldn't resist. So, I bought it. <laughs> so, uh, that'll be interesting. It looks like some of it, I think, the boiler and stuff like that is genuine brass, but it also looks like they might have tried to hit it up with some paint to try to make the rest of it look like brass. I don't really know, to be honest with you, um, but it was just sort of an unusual piece, and again, 15 bucks. So those were all the things I bought at the Elmer train show. I'm pretty happy with them, and uh, I think they're going to make some pretty unique projects. All right, so we're now going to find out what out of this lot actually runs, starting with the Air Force locomotive from Model Power. Uh, now, the person at the uh, train show who sold me this said it ran, and uh, to prove it to me, they actually ran it on one of the layouts at the show, So, uh, and it did run fine, so it should be okay. And, uh, yeah, if 
Fine runner. It's no, uh, it's not gonna win any uh, beauty contests, you could say, but uh, hey, it runs well, and uh, it's sort of cool. Anyway, next up is the Sioux line. They also tested this one on one of the layouts at the show, and it did run as well, and it's an, an old atlas, so it should be good. Anyway. That one runs really smooth, actually. Super quiet. Yeah, and uh, who knows, the oil might need to be changed on this. I noticed, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but the oiling ports there, at least one of them was kind of, it was kind of gummed up looking. So uh, we're definitely gonna have to re-oil that one at some point, but uh, it will be all right for now. Uh, this one apparently does run. Now, okay, put it on the track here. I think that guy actually had a test track. I'm, I'm pretty sure he showed me it running. Yeah. So it runs. Let me bring it in reverse here. I don't have a lot of SD40 2s, so uh, that's another reason I was kind of happy about getting this one. So that one's fine. Uh, now this last one from the Hobby Center, this is one, and uh, they were full disclosure about this. Apparently this one does not run, but well, let's find out what's going on with it. So I'll put it on the track here. This is not a Tyco, by the way. I think it's uh, an M MDC. I was doing some research on it, trying to figure out who made this. I'm pretty sure I found that somewhere on it. Oh, so the tender is not sitting evenly on the track. That's weird. Anyway. Hmm. I was honestly expecting a short circuit and uh, it just doesn't seem to be drawing any power which uh, to me signifies an electrical issue. Oh. Okay when I tilt it then we get a short circuit that's more what I was expecting so it clearly has some kind of electrical problems oh, there's a wire sticking out there yeah I don't know let's try to see get that to connect up so what we'll do here is we'll turn it around that way we can try to get that wire and then let's put the loco on the track And that wire, put some power in the track, and, ha! I just saw it turn over for a second there. This tender is probably most of the locomotive's problem, honestly. Well, lo and behold, it runs. It's not uh, great, but again, like $15 and uh, the only problem it seems to have is a broken wire. That's pretty remarkable. Okay, well that just got like a million times better. Anyway, I want to thank you guys all for watching. It was a lot of fun going to that show. I didn't think I was going to get to go there because we were actually out of town. Uh, and we arrived the same day the show was ending. So I was pretty happy to get to go there. And uh, I think I made off some with some pretty good deals. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey Nerfcat, are you subscribed to SMT Mainline on YouTube?